So welcome back guys to We Talk Boxing and today I'm going to be talking about Ben Whittaker and his latest opponent in his fight. Now in terms of his latest opponent, um, probably going to butcher his name right now. <laughs> um, he's got a crazy name but I will try. Is what is Ezra Arinyanka? Yeah, so I've, I've definitely butchered his name but that's his opponent. And he's going to be fighting on the undercard undercard of Chris Billum Smith versus Richard Riappo on the 15th of June at Selhurst Park. Now, in terms of Ben Whitaker, again, he's got, you know what I mean, we all know who he is now. He's one of these rising stars in boxing and he is a light heavyweight contender, currently 7-0 with five KOs to his name. He's only 26 years of age and, again, he's one of these flamboyant, um, super skilled boxers and he's a, an Olympian as well he's an Olympian medalist as well but he is seen as potentially one of the next best uh, British superstars now his opponent that he's taking on I don't know who he is um, never seen him fight, never heard of him before this fight but it's for the WBA gold world light heavyweight champion uh, belt sorry which is vacant now doesn't really mean much because it's not a proper title it's just one of these I understudy title bullshit sort of thing so sorry for swearing but it is what it is but his opponent I don't know who he is on his record as well I'm looking on box rec I don't know any of the names but he currently is um, 12 and 0 with 10 KOs to his name so his record could suggest, you know what I mean, he's had 12 fights, 10 KOs it could suggest he's a big puncher we won't really know that until he obviously gets in the ring with Ben but one thing I could guarantee that is evident from his record and from the opponents that I've had a look is that the skill level is probably going to be nowhere near what Ben has faced so far in his seven fights. And we've all seen Ben, he's got a lot, he's got a lot of skill, a lot of good movement. He likes to mimic and um, taunt his opponents in the ring. He's quick, he's got power as well. Um, and he's, he's obviously developing each fight. And he is a, a fit fighter as well, which is a good thing. So he says that he's always in the gym. Now, this fight could be one or two ways. It could either, you know what I mean, show that Ben Whitaker is far supreme for someone like this guy. Or it could be a really tough night for Ben Whitaker because obviously this guy is going to know that he can't really match it skill for skill with Ben Whitaker. So his only chances really is to get up and close and make it make the fight tough and rugged for Ben Whitaker. Maybe catch him with a big shot and hurt him and try and try and knock him out. That's the only thing that I could potentially see this guy doing. But let's hope it's not to be because, you know what I mean, if Ben Whitaker keeps developing at the pace that he is, um in the next couple of years he could potentially be in some really big 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 and good fights and there's still some good guys out there um who will still be there at that point like yard as well which would be a nice fight potentially for him um or boatsy someone like that in the future your people like baterbiev and bivol they probably will move up to the next weight division um yeah or who knows really but can't really see him trying to take on someone like the likes of those guys because the more for better behavior. He's he, he is on the older side, and Bivol's not too old, but I just probably would see him moving up at some point. So there is an opportunity for Ben Whitaker if he keeps developing, keeps improving, keeps learning, um, keeps trying to enhance his craft and um, learn from these opponents. Then at one day, at some point, he may be a future world champion as well. And he's quite tall as well, Ben Whitaker. He's not a short light heavyweight. He's six foot three. Um, it, the only thing I'd probably say in terms of him maybe going up to cruiserweight um, would probably be can he, you know, I mean, power. It's, uh, we don't know what his power's like at this present moment in time because at the minute all he's doing is mocking his opponents and he's stopping them, but he's just mocking them really. But yeah, I like what I see with Ben Whitaker. Um, he's flamboyant. He's eccentric, but he, he's got something there. Um, hopefully this guy doesn't cause him too much trouble and that he could get through it without any sort of um, 
you know what I mean, damage. Uh, so that way you can maybe fight again in the next couple of months. Because at this stage, as a young up-and-coming prospect like Ben Whitaker, you just want to be out in the ring. You just want to have as many fights as you can um, and build up that record against nobodies really quite early. So that way when you do come up against the bigger guys and you're only fighting tw two or three times a year, that you're getting paid more money. But anyway... Let me know your thoughts in the comments below in regards to Ben Whittaker. How far do you feel that he could go? Do you feel that his latest opponent, I'm going to call him Ezra, could maybe cause him some troubles or maybe even knock him out? But anyway, guys, please subscribe, comment and bless.